Okay, here's a question from Kevin. Let's get out, let's get back on track here. It's a Bitcoin show after all. Kevin says, I got my parents into Bitcoin and they are stacking sats. Out of boy. However, given their age and where they are currently in life, I want to find the best possible options for them. Cold wallet recommendations. Well, I'm going to give you a, the best recommendation here, Kevin. First of all, this is what I would do. I actually had uh, a conversation with a guy maybe about a week ago now about the same kind of thing. And so what I would say the best possible option for this right now is keep it for them or at least have the key for them. Get the, the thing you have to keep in mind with, with Bitcoin storage is that the more times you write out your private key and the more people you give that to, the higher your odds are of somebody f coming across that. And if somebody comes across that private key, the Bitcoin's gone. They own it now. You'll be co-owners for about 10 minutes until they plug it in, move the Bitcoin out of your wallet and into their wallet, and then the Bitcoin's gone. So what I would suggest is until they're ready for it and until you've gone through some excruciating training with them, legitimately, I would say keep a copy of it. You know, you have to you have to give them the responsibility, make them feel like they're the one owning it. But you have to keep a copy of it, too. Just be aware of the fact that when there's two private keys floating around, that's two chances that somebody's going to get the access to that. But what I would say from that cold wallet recommendation, always cold card. Number one, you have. Uh, the Jade Blockstream Jade is another one and the Foundation Passport, which is another one. I got that in the mail yesterday. So I ordered that one from Foundation. I want to try it out. It looks pretty cool. It looks like a little cell phone, one of those old T9 cell phones. So I'm going to I'm going to try out the wallet. I'm going to give you guys a an unbiased opinion on it. I'm going to have some people play with it in this house and see how easy to use it is. But those would be my recommendations. Cold card number 1 because I've used it, but Blockstream Jade and the Foundation wallet because I've heard good things about it. But from that, so that, that's a good place to start. Don't, you know, if once they get to a significant amount, that's when you have to start really dialing things in with your setup. So if they're kind of new to it, if they're just like, you know, a million sats, a couple million sats, whatever, don't, don't worry too much about it. But if they get into like, you know, half a Bitcoin, full Bitcoin, a couple Bitcoin, that's when you have to get serious and actually, you know, Think about in the old system, how much people pay for their insurance, for their financial advisors, for their fees on the accounts to make sure that that's protective, protected. You have to do the exact same thing in Bitcoin. And so what we're at, what is going to be available through this channel for this community, hopefully in the next month is something for this, an inheritance plan where they keep a couple keys. You have a key. There's a key held with a lawyer. And if something were to happen to them, you would still be able to unlock their wallet. That's what you want. That's the end goal for it. Don't make that like the first step in their journey or your journey. That's where you want to get to with it. You want to have the ability where if something were to happen to them, you don't have access to the key or if their house burns down, you would still be able to access that Bitcoin. That's what you want. So we are going to have a service for that it's going to be very cost effective very good for for bitcoiners we want people to be buying bitcoin instead of spending money on fees and management bullshit stuff so that that's kind of the idea there we want to we want to give everybody within this community the opportunity to if something were to happen to them or their family whatever that is they're still going to be able to access their bitcoin in a very easy and hold your hand through the the process as well so kevin what i would say is look after it for them and depending on how much you have that's what i would say where to go from there but make, make them feel like they're part of the process they have to they have to write it down they have to know how important it is to protect it i think they should go through those steps within bitcoin but at the end of the day make don't leave it all on them and if they have a significant amount either way actually if you're if you just want more information on the multi-signature, multi-jurisdictional encrypted key service that we're offering, just shoot me an email.
every uh all my contact info is always below the video here in the show notes 88 sats at proton.me so if you just want some information some pricing some when it's going to be available just shoot me an email it it's it's very it's a very intuitive and and well thought out and secure process uh daniel happy friday thousand sats zap thank you Daniel says, my wife and sister have some Bitcoin, but I'm managing it for that uh, for now. That's the pl- that's the best way to do it. The people people don't want or need the responsibility until they have some sort of idea what's going on. There's been probably there's think about how much Bitcoin has been lost by people just getting thrown to the wolves or trying to do it on their own, and then they get burned, and then they're mad at Bitcoin for the next ten years, and then they miss out on what could have been. <laughs> 